So two nights ago, Mark Stoops was at Kentucky's Big Blue Madness event on the microphone saying, this is what I missed for 12 years. Woohoo, LED lights flashing everywhere. What a special moment. Mark Stoops welcoming back Kentucky basketball into his life in the post-Calipari era. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What are we missing? We're still missing shit. You go to your home stadium two days later, one day later against Vanderbilt and let Diego Pavia pack you up. Now, it we should say this. Vanderbilt's pretty clearly a good football team. I like. I don't even want to hear arguments for them not being a good football team at this point. Pavia rocks. This was an obvious letdown spot. They've now beaten Alabama and Kentucky back to back. They went on the road to Missouri, took them to overtime. They beat Virginia Tech. This is just a good football team that I think is going to factor into the SEC conference race for the rest of the season. But I, I still don't know if Kentucky's a good football team. I'm starting to think they're not. Brock Vandegrift leaves a lot to be desired. Dion, 20 to 13, Vanderbilt was the final score. What are your thoughts? So Mark Stoops pulls up the Big Blue Madness and sees like a fake football field on a basketball court and says, I've never seen anything like this before. This is insane. I've been missing it for over a decade. Diego Pavia pulls up to Kentucky and calls an ice up, clears it out, hits a Euro step around Mark Stoops, and says, no, this is what you've been missing for 12 years, a good quarterback. 20 to 13, Vandy, easy money. Uh, I don't like what Mark Stoops did on Friday. I don't like, or what was, what was when was Big Blue Madness Thursday? I think it was Friday, I think. Friday. I may have that wrong. I don't I, like, focus on the game. Like, you're you're not a good enough football team to be doing stuff like that. With I, I don't know if maybe uh, Mark Pope invited him or he was told he has to go by the boosters, but like, I, there, there's an element of like if players were doing that, we would be screaming that they have to focus on the game um, and whatnot. And when a coach does it, we kind of just let them off the hook. And like me personally, it's like if all things are equal, he also probably shouldn't have been there when they had a game like the very next morning. Just like to to make yourself have a moment at a basketball event. like And look, Mark Pope clearly allowed it to happen, wanted it to happen. It was sort of a welcoming back. Cal and Mark Stoops had a horrible relationship. There were public comments where, you know, Cal always said, we're not a football school. We're a basketball school. And Mark Stoops hated that. So I, <laughs> respectfully, Cal's been right the whole time, though. That's the thing here. You are a basketball school. The reason you're not a football school is because Mark Stoops loses games like this. So for him to go to that event and say, you know, take a jab at a coach that isn't even there anymore and kind of just make it his moment. Oh, I haven't been allowed here for 12 years. You're right. You haven't had a ticket to that event. You're a basketball school. And uh, ultimately, like, you're lucky to be invited this year with the results that are happening right now. He had more crazy quotes after the game. I swear we'll get to some stuff in the game at some point. But Mark Stoops has made this entire week, this entire result kind of about himself with what he's been saying on microphones. He hit the post-game podium, Dion, and said this. You know, Vandy went out and made it happen with the NIL. Do you see the amount of publicity Diego is getting? Once we get an NIL support system like that, we will be able to compete in the SEC. What? The, what, the foot, like Kentucky, the, the guy who was upset that Calipari says, hey, we're not a football school – is complaining about Vanderbilt NIL money. Vanderbilt? Cal Pari was right. Like, I mean, like, Cal was right. And, like, th this is another reason he was right. Like, you you hit it you hit it on the head. Like, he loses games like this. This is why you're not a football school. When you don't got Vandy NIL money, how can you also be a football school? Because I promise you, Mark Pope is doing just fine with NIL right now. There's a 40% chance that I am getting duped by this, and that's not a real quote. But there's at <laughs> least a 40% chance that it is a real quote. So I'm just going to operate like it's a real quote because it sounds like some shit that Mark Stoops would say. Uh, let's talk on the football field in this game. Um, I, I mean, Kentucky had plenty of chances to me. Like they they consistently uh, – they, they got some big turnovers from Vanderbilt in big spots. Um you know, I, I don't think they necessarily had a problem moving the ball. They ran for over five and a half yards per carry. Uh, Dane Key was really good as a receiver, kind of the only guy Vandegrift could find in this game. But I don't know why. Why was Kentucky only able to muster thirteen points? To me, that's the issue here. 
Yeah, I mean, I think we we say it every week. Kentucky had a lot of chances, right? Um, and I, I, it's every week whether they're playing Georgia. They lost thirty-one to six to South Carolina, and it's kind of like, yeah, South Carolina like tried to have you win this game, and you just didn't. At a certain point, and I've been a pretty big proponent of Mark Stoops, just because I I don't personally view Kentucky as a football school, but um, for a basketball school, I think he's done pretty good. Um like building football teams over the years this team is poorly coached like we can't say all the time like how how many chances they've had they just didn't convert like at a certain point like that has to fall on coaching I think about that fourth down punt I believe that was against Georgia like every week there's moments where it's just like no they they should have won this game and they aren't and that's coaching to me yeah you outgained them you outpassed them you outrushed them you got more first downs than them but you had more penalties you have more turnovers you had 12 penalties for 105 yards to just five for Vanderbilt two turnovers to one for Vanderbilt I don't know a lot of self-inflicted errors it definitely felt like a game Kentucky should win they were the favorite in but I, I mean the reality for me they had the worst quarterback and whether or not that quote is real uh Pavi's numbers won't blow you away in this game he had the one interception that was a really really special play by Kentucky the tip tip drill interception they made was just that was a great play by the defense but 15 for 18 Pavi his whole thing man he improvises like that entire system is just like let's use Diego Pavia like the guy he says is his hero, Johnny Manziel, and just let him rock. And the way he can kind of weave out of plays that should be negative plays and find little crevices in the defense. It's really fun. It's really special. There are a lot of teams. I swear to God, you look at the top of the the entire landscape of college football this year, there's a lot of teams that would rather have this kid at quarterback for them than their quarterback. I can think of one that lost yesterday in Ohio State. It's kind of crazy. It really is. And I, I don't know, like, Vandy is not a bad NIL spot by any means, but, like, also, like, Kentucky, your quarterback's a Georgia transfer that was the number one recruit in high school a couple years ago. It's not like you don't have money, right? Like, <laughs> this guy's just better, and you got to figure that out. So, Javi is Will Howard with talent. It's crazy. Uh, I don't want to look ahead too much. In two weeks, Vanderbilt's at home against Texas. I mean, I watched that Texas game, and my first thought was, hey, where's our chat? <laughs> I can't wait for that game. I truly can't. Honestly, I know we've been planning a lot of trips lately, Dion. little Nashville bop in two weeks would not be bad. Wouldn't be the worst thing. I did just get a new credit card. Although the thing is, Texas is probably comfortable in Nashville because I can yeah. guarantee you Arch is just walking around in the cowboy hat. I'll, I'll say this like this doesn't have much to do with vandy like we we do need to get to the red river rivalry like we texas state fair like i feel like we would dominate that oklahoma needs us for real bobby howard needs us too football season is here money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets and our friends at my book you want to make it easy for you to do just that yeah and Coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, my bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code SLEEPERS, that's promo code SLEEPERS, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to $1,000 over at MyBookie. Use promo code SLEEPERS and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. Arr I'm trying to flip that into like sport, like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers.